guys, another technically awesome tech video here, and in this today's tech video, we're once again going to go ahead with the SMN910 T3 series of videos, and in this case, we're going to go ahead and continue with everything else. And we're going to start go start off by installing the stock ROM, and uh, not the stock ROM, we're going to go ahead and install the uh, Texas custom ROM, which is the best ROM. Oh, 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 oh. So yeah, uh, sorry for that part. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and continue with installing the uh, Texas ROM, and when we do that, we're gonna install Texas. And this ROM was made by TechHD, and it's a really great ROM for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, and it's made for all models. But it's one of the major ones for the T3, and the T3 really doesn't have anything else. So what we're going to go ahead is download that ROM, and I'll have a link to it in the description below. I'm not really going to load it up, but if you really want to find it, it's really easy. You can put in Tech, tech HD, or you can put in TexOS, and that's how you spell it right there. And when you enter it, you will go ahead and to put in Tech HD with it too. And you will see this. And make sure it's Doc 2 because this phone is a Doc 2. Um, and you will see all this images. Just scroll away from it. Um, and you will see 5.1.1 downloaded here. And you want to make sure you get the 5.1.1. Um, you have to give it a minute for this whole site to load because this is a really, really long. Okay. And. Okay. So here it is. The N4 5. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you will just see 5.1.1 downloader. You just go down. And you will see 5.1.1 ROM full. Ah. What happened? Okay. And you will be on a DOG 1 or a DOG 2 base point. We're all on there. And you want to go ahead and get same file for the T. Oh, oh my god, stop doing that. So annoying. For the T slash T3 right here. And T slash T3. The N910T or T3. And you will open up this. And that will be the download you get. Uh, what you want to make sure is you do not really like, you know, you can scroll down and go to. 4.4.4 Oh no, um, give me a second guy. Okay guys, while this site load loads, I'm going to be showing you what you have to do. Just, uh, guys, please ignore that background noise. Somebody's lawn mowing or doing whatever. But what we're going to have to do is go ahead down to our uh, desktop here. Uh, this is just my old desktop and we're gonna get two things we're gonna get a custom kernel and we're gonna get this here where is it ah, this so this is the Texas hybrid hybrid n4 t3 so what you want to do is there's two kernels here there is the beast mode and there is the Texas, if I can find it. So this file here, and that file here. And I'll have a link to the description below. You will download it. You will not extract these files. Do not extract them. At this point, you should have your phone set up with the stock ROM. And if you do not have an SD card, what you will do is copy this to the internal storage and then you will copy this uh, copy the top part uh, and and if you do have a, an SD card copy those two files to the SD card then you will uh, go into recovery and at this point I'm going to show you how to do it so what I'm going to do is going to so you should have it set up with your basic basic apps now I know there really isn't any point in setting it, uh, in setting up, setting it up for very basic, basic apps. Mm -hmm. Um. 
it's just that you're gonna back this up and if anything goes wrong you can just restore and use the stock ROM rooted but stock ROM rooted of course and, uh, thing. and a big question out there is can you install exposed and yes you can if you wanted to but in this case um scroll down a little bit for something. So, so you will see there's some mods. So there's a lot of mods in this thing. And what you want to do is if you want exposed, you will look through XDA for a custom exposed thing and I'll have a video for that as well. But until then, we're going to be showing you what to do after this. Um, so once you're into recovery in here, what you're going to want to do is hit um, install, find your ROM, and this is slash SD card. So what you want to do is go up a level all the way until you are at slash and you see all this stuff. Then, so if you have an external SD card, wherever you put it, so if it's in your internal storage, it is slash SD card. Uh, if it is in your ex external storage, it is external slash external underscore SD. And as you can see, my custom ROMs are right there. Uh, there's actually a few files there, but there's Texas Hybrid and Beast Mode. That's what we need. So what you will do first is install Beast Mode. Then you will install Texas. Well, first you will back up by going to the home back up, but you will install beast mode, then you will install Texodus, and then you will install beast mode again. But the problem is, is if you're using Texodus on a internal storage only, you may not be able to install beast mode again. So what you're going to have to do is boot it up into the unstable kernel and go ahead and um, quickly go ahead and open Chrome and download beast mode again if it does do that. Then after downloading beast mode, you will reflash that and wipe everything. And you will reset up the phone as if it was brand new. Uh, now, if you did get an image, um, you might want to stop that, but you get install image and install zip per year. So, yeah. And after that, you can go into backup. And pretty much, yeah. So what I'm going to do is back up everything I've got here. And at this point, after installing TechCitus and getting set up with your favorite apps, you will back it up. And... Oh, wait, guys. Uh, back up. And I'm going to back up. So when you're doing a backup, you want to make sure to back up your boot, which is your kernel pretty much, your recovery, your, your system, and your data. Your cache, EFS, and modem really aren't those things. But if you want to do it, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you always want to store it on a your micro SD card. So in this case, I'm selecting my micro SD card. And... If you've got one of these handy babies or a USB OTG cable, this is pretty much that. You can just go ahead and plug in your USB and uh, then you can hit select storage and put in USB storage. And in this case, I just started backup. So this is going to backup and when it is done backup, I will be right back and pretty much yeah. Alright okay, guys, I wanted to tell you something while the backup is still happening here. It's only 20% uh, done, but this is the exposed thing for Lollipop, and if you want exposed, you do not have to read this because, okay, uh, because, things. so with your custom ROM, what you want to do, it's, so there's really some main things here, you, you just want to go down and get pretty much read this but don't take it seriously so here 
R means that it's running the ARM32 operating system, so Note 4 runs ARM32. ARM64 means that it's running ARM64 all the time. So Note 4 re uses ARM. And SDK22 means Lollipop 5.1, and SDK23 means 6.0. And in here, you can see a bunch of files. You want to make sure you get exposed uninstaller. And then you want to get unexposed arm SDK 22. And you need to make sure you get those two for that T3. And you will install the arm. You will not touch the uninstaller, but you have to make sure you always have it on you. Um, you'll just pretty much make sure to make a backup and install it and it will take a very long time to boot up so do not think you're in a boot loop a boot loop loop eventually if you do get a boot loop you can do adb logcat and i'll keep i can show you how to do adb logcat soon you can really search all this up i'm showing you a basic tutorial for the t3 because the t3 doesn't have tutorials yeah pretty much um Hmm. Only twenty two percent. It's uh backing up my data now. So at this point I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah pretty much. Like, subscribe, share, and uh pretty much yeah. That's pretty much it, and uh, yeah, once you make a backup, and as in this case, it's still backing up, as you can see, you cancel it in the middle, but I'm going to back it up, because I need to back it up, but yeah, pretty much. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and make everything you've guys technically awesome, because it's all tech, and it's technically awesome.